What's up? How are you guys this weekend? We are making s'mores and if you guys remember, we have done this already. However, I have found some ingredients and high quality marshmallows that actually allow us to roast them over an open flame. In the last one, we had this like marshmallow fluff blend. Still very, very delicious, but uh, I actually found this brand online. It's a Hammond's Vanilla Bean Marshmallows. And it's not entirely organic. You know, they're using non-GMO ingredients. So it's as good as you can get. This isn't something you're going to have every day, but once a week, a few times a month, feed to your kids. Actual high quality marshmallow, only one on the market, believe it or not. Um, I'll put all these foods on my Amazon shop, guys, because I could only find some of these online, but uh, other stuff might be at like your local health food store. Now, let me actually move these away from the fire because it's so hot. I think it's going to like melt the food inside of the box. For the chocolate, we're using Pasha Organic White Chocolate. They make a pretty good uh, tasting bar. Uh, I've used their chips a lot before. So it's organic cocoa butter, organic cane sugar, which is typical of any chocolate, except with the dark chocolate that'll add the cocoa powder as well. Then they have a few other things that help them get the texture and taste right. So tapioca syrup, rice syrup, rice maltodextrin, vanilla salt, all organic ingredients, very, very high quality bar. And I like white chocolate because it has no caffeine. I sleep a lot better, but organic dark chocolate is going to be a lot easier to find. And uh, if you can't get this one, uh, any white chocolate honestly should really be fine. This is just going to be uh, dairy free and minimally inflammatory. So that's why we went with this brand. And the graham crackers that we used last time were slightly better from an ingredient perspective, but I think that company actually went out of business. Uh, these are the only organic graham crackers I could find anywhere. And you know, some things in here that I'm not a fan of, like the organic sunflower oil, um, some of the preservatives, like the vitamin E, rosemary extract. They're putting baking soda, bicarbonate, cream of tartar in here. It's not that bad, but it's not that good. So again, not something you want to have every single day, but it could be much, much worse. And this is really just a pretty high amount of carbohydrates and it's not too many inflammatory fats. So we're going to get these marshmallows on the fire while we prepare everything else. Now I do not have wooden skewers and I think these metal ones might get a little too hot. Now if you don't have a fireplace, uh, you could use the barbecue, you could use like a gas stove top if you have that as well. Just really anything to brown the outside of the, the sugar on the, uh, the marshmallows. Now you could shift these on and off the fire until they're done, but you want to have everything completely ready because they're going to be really hot and this needs to be kind of eaten immediately. So this chocolate comes just like little rectangles. I like putting one on each of these. <laughs> All right. So, I don't know if normal marshmallows light up like that, but um, this is definitely a learning process. But you know, it's melting and we got the char flavor on it, so that's all that really matters here. So this is what I like doing, just one cracker with a piece of chocolate and the marshmallow on top. Now if you guys don't have good self-control, I definitely would not. Uh, buy this because you're going to end up here, like me, eating 2,000 calories worth of healthy s'mores. All right, what's the actual calorie count? So five pieces of marshmallows is 80 calories, so not that many calories on the marshmallows. Two crackers is 130 calories, so we're at 260 plus 80 is 340, and then this actually isn't bad only 600 calories. I mean, still a decent amount, but it's not like a crazy amount. Then again, you know, I could probably eat like half the box of these cram crackers or all this stuff on it. It's not like super expensive either. I think this box of crackers was around 350. 
Uh, these chocolate bars are probably two or three dollars each and I think this is two or three dollars so yeah per item it seems like a lot of money but I mean reality is this is gonna make you like s'mores for three years so mm -hmm. uh, it's it's a lot of food this is so delicious and stuff like this really cheers me up because I have to you know stick to the diet so much and I can't really deviate but when I do come up with creative ideas and I'm craving certain things and it works out like this, I'm pretty happy about it. So the reason this isn't that bad, especially in the context of my liver damage, is that the fat content isn't super high, which causes a lot of bile and toxins to be excreted from the liver. And it's saturated fat. Yeah, the chocolate is a decent amount of fat in there, but it's a natural, high quality, you know, saturated fat coming from the cocoa butter. So as I said earlier, guys, this stuff is on my Amazon shop, amazon.com slash franktefano if you'd like to uh, try this out. Or, you know, go to your local store, see if you can find similar ingredients. But one of my favorite, favorite desserts, if not, you know, top few favorite of all time. I really, really love it. It's very nostalgic. It's one of those things I really liked when I was a kid, but my parents never made it for me. So you guys can go to franktefano.com if you'd like to support me through all of my other businesses. Outside of that, guys, please drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you for the next video.